now let us discuss about udp udp stands for user datagram protocol in this video we are going to discuss about the features of the udp as well as the header format of the udp first let us see the features of udp the first feature is udp is a connectionless protocol here there is no need of any connection between the source process and destination process if source process knows address of the destination process then directly source process can send the packet to the corresponding destination process and the second feature is udp is unreliable protocol so here the source process uh, can send data can send some datagrams packets but it doesn't worry about whether that packet is successfully reached to the destination or not it doesn't bother about that it simply sends the data and forget about that it doesn't bother about that and as well as it doesn't bother about that uh, whether all those packets are arrived in the correct order or not so that's why we can say that udp is unreliable protocol next one is here there is no guarantee delivery here the sender can send the data but the sender doesn't worry about whether that packet is successfully reached to the destination or not so that's why we can say that there is no guarantee delivery here next there is less overhead here there is no need of transmitting any acknowledgments sequence numbers if there are any errors there is no need of any retransmissions there is no need to establish the connection there is no need to use three way handshake so that's why we can say that udp is it is a less overhead why because there is no need of all these things and the last one is there is no flow control here so udp here the sender can send the data the packets at a very faster rate there is no problem here we don't have any flow control mechanism yet receiver side if the receiver can't receives the data if the receiver can't process the data at a faster rate then some of the packets may be lost so here we can say that there is no flow control now let us see about uh, uh, the header format of the udp here totally we have four fields the first field is source port number which is of size 16 bits so that is nothing but 2 bytes destination port number which is of 16 bits so 2 bytes total length 16 bits 2 bytes checksum 2 bytes so we can say that the size of the udp header is 8 bytes 8 bytes so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 first let us see about source port address and uh, destination port address uh, here it uses process to process communication so a process on a uh, source host can send packet to a process on destination host destination host with the help of some port numbers with the help of some port numbers so here the source port number is a 16 bit field which specifies the port number of the source process the port number of source process whereas destination port number is also 16 bit field it specifies destination port address of this the port address of the destination process so this this address specifies port number of the source process whereas this address specifies port number of the destination address port number of the destination process next the total length of udp header is 16 bits 16 bits so totally we can have 2 power 16 numbers so 2 power 16 means 65535 numbers so from 0 to 65535 just uh, that it can send the data next checksum checksum capacity is 16 bits 
we know that checksum is mainly useful for error detection so here also we will use checksum for error detection purpose so this is about what is udp that is features of the udp as well as the header format of the udp